Well, the ITV National News is coming up in just a moment. But first, a very special tribute to a very special friend. Today, we said a very sad farewell to one of our dear colleagues. Martin Douse was ITV Meridian's Dorset reporter for over 20 years. Martin was a hugely versatile journalist, a firm favourite of his workmates and viewers. After four years bravely battling cancer, today was his funeral. Fred looks back now at Martin's marvellous career. Um, so, yeah, in your own time. Well, just step off the edge. Yeah, I'll take a run at it. All right, OK. Here we go. <laughs> Martin Douse, all action TV reporter. Here, thoroughly enjoying his first ever trip on a zip wire. <laughs> it's like a leap of faith when you first step off. They just say to you, off you go. And once you're going, there's obviously no stopping you. Just let yourself go. It's quite exhilarating. Not much time to take in. Your surroundings with a feeling of movement and you speed up just at the end there is uh, amazing. A true gentleman both on screen and off. Here looking very much at home in a James Bond car. Your eyebrow starts to involuntarily raise. And that rear mounted machine gun could come in quite useful in rush hour traffic. If only I could find the right button. Good evening. The Transport Minister visited our region today and defended the huge rail rises facing commuters. As well as sometimes presenting the programme, Martin was also an award-winning journalist. Now to Martin Dals, who has been following the case at Winchester Crown Court. Martin. Well, after sitting for seven weeks and deliberating for four hours, the jury found Danilo Restivo guilty of the murder of Heather Barnett in Bournemouth in 2002. In the dock, Restivo showed no emotion as the verdict was given. Chillingly, he was the first on the scene to comfort the children and even went to Heather's funeral. Martin was a hugely versatile journalist, his quick wit and charming personality making him a firm favourite with viewers and colleagues. So there we are, more cheese than a Swiss fondue. Just look at the Valentine sincerity etched across that face. I'm sure my wife is going to be delighted. I'm sure she'll have plenty of suggestions as to where I can put this. But I do foresee one slight problem. Hi, have you got any six-foot envelopes? Dowsey was hugely knowledgeable and a real enthusiast when it came to reporting on the South East history. And he was never afraid to get involved. Halfway across the field, away from the roar of each engine, there's a wonderful calm as you hear just the soil turning, punctuated only by my instructor's disbelief at my wonky furrows. <laughs> yeah, we, went, we went a bit wrong. <laughs> the Honourable Mr. Martin covered many major court cases, filming in the region and abroad to get to the truth. After killing Penny in the paddock over there, Justin Robertson made his way on foot to this bridge where he'd parked McLean's Vauxhall Zafira. But he'd made one crucial and almost unbelievably inept mistake. He dropped the car keys over there at the scene of the attack and he realised that instead of making a quick getaway, he was stranded here close to the murder scene. But perhaps his greatest talent was being able to inform and entertain with such ease and charm. Yo, would either of you hot-looking honeys like to come for a cruise? And I don't mean no saga holiday. No, no, thank you. I'll yeah. drop you off on the bingo. No, thank you. OK, on we go, Steve, please. <laughs> All was ready to take on a new challenge. Thankfully, the forces of gravity do eventually hit the brakes. <laughs> that was a uh, lot of fun. <laughs> uh, can somebody bring me my stomach? <laughs> Martin Douse, a much-loved friend and dear colleague.